And I mean, when you talk about the different ways about how gay people are killed, it's important to note that that's a scholastic debate as well. Like the way that we should kill gay people, is it execution, is it hanging, is it stoning? This is a theological conversation. Mm. Even the way that we kill gay people, even the method, whether you sever his head or whether you hang him for a rope or whether you put him in the middle of a circle for people to throw stones at. Or even throw them off a the building. Yeah, or throw them off a building. Even that dialogue is entrenched within our religion. Exactly. Amnesty International said, uh, and I haven't seen it, someone just hit me with this social media uh, argument, that, oh, well, recently, in the last 20 years, there haven't been any execu state executions of gay people by uh, Islamic states. But as long as those laws exist, mm. um, that's one problematic, because if we had a state that said, oh, if you see Muslim people being Muslim in public, execute them, yeah. and we understand how legislation shapes community uh, attitudes. So just by having a law that says gay people should be executed, right. this encourages mob justice. Even if the law is not there, even if you get rid of the law, the people want this. The people fast, you know, the people fantasize about this. Okay. And it's the source of this discussion is, 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 is Islam. It's their religion. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.